we'll wait about two, maybe two minutes we'll wait and then we'll start. Who wants to say something? Who wants to um, introduce themselves? Shamila? Jim Muses. Yeah. Good morning. Morning. Hey, I'm Shamila Vidaj. I'm a social worker and a family divorce mediator. I'm all the way in the UK. I'm Kumar. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice. South Coast. South Coast, where everything happens in South Coast. Yeah, it's really nice day. Yeah, it's beautiful. Did you guys uh, uh, learn it yesterday? Did you learn something yesterday? Uh, yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, I did. But I'm looking forward to the rest of this uh, program. Uh, yeah, and I'm really interested in you know, following up and, and looking to where it goes. No, good, 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 good. Adele? Oh, yeah. Morning. <laughs> Sorry. Still just had a bit of a rushed morning and I quickly decided, saw my love. Yes, I can't be not miss it again today. So I'm here. <laughs> cool. I sent a link. Um, I sent a link. It's a one click link. You just download that ICS file and it will, it will set up your calendar. So every, every day you'll get the reminder. 45 minutes. So I'll, send it, I'll send it to you guys again. I'll resend it to you guys. Hey, Hashila, good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Sunil, I have a question about the WhatsApp uh, for business. Um, do you suggest having a separate SIM card for that or a separate phone? Um, because when it asked me to download it, it, it says that everything from my uh, private WhatsApp is all gonna be downloaded onto that. Is that, is that phone, something that- What phone you've got? I've got a Samsung. Okay, then it's easy then what what the whatsapp for business will migrate everything from your current whatsapp into whatsapp for business so your pictures your contacts your your chats everything will be in, in, in the new one in the new whatsapp for okay. business right but what's good about whatsapp for business and the normal whatsapp is you can have two whatsapps on your phone because you still you can still use that old whatsapp that previous whatsapp for another number if you want to so some people have a business whatsapp and some people have a personal whatsapp number like you they don't, they don't want to do business on the on their personal phone so that's where you can separate them and you know you can separate the messages okay okay thank you so the the um whatsapp for business will still have the same it, it like i can't put my business logo on that one without affecting my my private one you can, you can. Listen, there's so much you can do with, there's so much you can do with the WhatsApp for business. You can link your, your social media profiles. You can put a map. You can put your times, your, your, you know, your working hours. You can even set a message. Like just say somebody sends you a message at 6 p.m. and you close at 5 p.m. It will tell them, hey, you closed, uh, contact us in the morning. There's so much you can do. But we, towards the end, in the, in the last week of this, we're going to be doing WhatsApp for business. I'm going to show you step okay. by step. Okay, thanks. I'll hold on till then. <laughs> thanks. But you can uh, listen. You can uh, you can go and experiment. You know, uh, try it out yourself. <laughs> welcome, guys. Welcome, Asha. Hey, welcome, Stini, my friend. Stini, welcome, welcome. Chris, welcome. Hi, Sunil. Hey, Asha. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. Uh, Imelda, is, am I saying your name right, Imelda? That's right. Hi there. Welcome. You? Welcome. Tell us who you are, where you're from, what you do. Um, uh, thanks. I'm in Johannesburg, first and always. Um, and I do two things. Um, I'm in real estate um, and um, I do sales and rentals. And I also am a coach uh, in, in training. So looking at team coaching, uh, relationship coaching. So that's me. Cool. Welcome. Welcome. Thank so, you. uh, Guys, it's five plus. I'm going to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute you all. And then um, at the end, you'll be able to unmute yourself and uh, ask any questions. Ask any questions that you may have. Um, I'm going to start the presentation. Just tell me, just give me a thumbs up if uh, you can see my presentation.
So you can see my screen, right? So I'm just going to mute you. So guys, welcome to the social breakfast. We're on day two. So yesterday was more of an introduction. Yesterday was more of um, just to explain how everything works. Today, we're gonna to start in, with some real content, some meat. So the agenda for today, uh, I'm gonna to give you a small about us. I'm gonna give you an introduction. Uh, it's uh, to give you some social media stats uh, from October last year. Uh, we're still waiting for the stats for this year to be released. It's usually released around January, uh, around that time. Uh, the today's topic, I'm going to give you an introduction of to, to digital marketing. I'll give you a, an entrepreneur's wellness tip that helps me. Number six is the objective of this call, content ideas. That's the objective of this daily social breakfast. So basically, as soon as you're done with this call, open your social media and start to post. That's the purpose of this call is to push you to post every single day. And then number seven is Q&A, networking and connect. Guys, use the chat facility, put your name, your, your company name, your phone number, if you wanna share your WhatsApp, your social media profiles, connect and let's do business with each other. You can chat uh, and, and uh, make new friends. So the um, agenda for coming up uh, tomorrow, because it's Saturday, it's just a 10 minute call. Saturday and Sunday, just 10 minutes, Monday, I'm going to give you an introduction to like uh, basic concepts, like what what like what a domain name is, like what is uh, a CMS. I'm going to explain some basic concepts. Tuesday we're going to talk about domains and emails. Wednesday we're going to talk about email marketing. Thursday sales funnels, and Friday we're going to do smart goals. So that's the that's the agenda for the upcoming week. If you want, you can take a picture of this or a screenshot, and so you know what we'll be discussing. So about us, um, this was this picture is um, the first social breakfast we we held back in 2019 in March 2019 in in Durban. This was the first one. So since COVID, it's changed. Now it's moved online. I just want to switch guys to chatting. So about us, discover how to profit massively from social media while everyone else is freaking out. Guys, these are hands-on tips. You got to implement them. Social media is hands-on. You've got to implement, you've got to know what you're doing, you've got to have a strategy, you've got to plan it out, and you've got to post, and you've got to respond. You've got to, you also, you need to be, you need to be uh, in your social media and aware of what's happening. So a little bit about me, some boring stuff, uh, 21 years in digital marketing, having worked both on agency side and client side, uh, internationally and locally trained, worked on thousands of projects from hunting, travel, business, automotive, almost any industry you can think of. I won a few awards. Uh, I'm a certified digital marketing practitioner. My goal is to help you achieve your goals through timely and effective use of the internet. Guys, I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you that you're in good hands. Some of the clients that I was pri privileged to work with over the years. So part of the challenge is that you must also play your part. Social media is reciprocal. For you, for you to really get the engagement and the reach that you want on your social media, you need to also you also need to support and spend some time on other people's social media. So, so six ways to support small business: you can go and write a positive review to them on, on their on their on their social media. You can tell your friends and family. You can follow them on social media. You can you can engage with their posts. You can give them a shout out. You can sign up for their newsletter. All of this is free. Four ways to use social media for good instead of evil. Be helpful without expecting something in return. Be recipro uh, reciprocal. Be present. Set it and forget it isn't the aim. Guys, do a tally of your social media accounts. If you've got any dormant accounts, accounts that you haven't posted in the past couple of months, go and delete those or merge those accounts. If You should be posting at least once a week on social media. Be social. So think about why is it called social media. If you want to have a powerful social media presence, you need to communicate. Don't just post your specials on social media. Give them some, give your followers some, uh, some information, some, you know, some, uh, uh, just entertain them. 
So the challenge is do this daily, find five friends business pages, like and share their page, like comment and share on their posts. So listen, a, a like doesn't carry much weight. So when you see somebody's post, leave a comment, maybe tag another friend, maybe tag somebody else on that. Leave them a review and give them a shout out. So maybe you can, you can share that, that post onto your timeline and tell your friends, check this out. So guys, what's the most valuable currency in the world? Who knows? Who wants to answer that? So watch this quick video, it's one minute. That's my favorite one. Oh. So you don't notice that all of them, they were buried in their phones. So the most valuable currency today is attention. Let's see what you guys are saying. Attention. Time is also valuable. Guess how often you use your phone every day? How many times you unlock your phone? Now, research says that we unlock our phone like 30 times a day, but we know it's more like 90 to like 300 times a day we unlock our phones. Guess how long you use a phone in hours? In hours, how long do you think we use our phone? Watch this quick video. A woman was seriously injured in New Jersey when she tripped over an open cellar door and then tumbled into the basement. The 67 year old woman was looking at her cell phone when she flipped head first into the basement about six feet below. Fire crews rescued the woman and took her to the hospital. A woman was so we spent about, say, two and a half hours a day just on social media, about four hours a day on our mobiles using the internet, WhatsApp, and all of that. So these are some stats. Uh, I'm just going to go quickly through it. Uh, October 2021, the global population is 7.8 billion. There's 5.2 billion SIM cards. There's 4.5 billion social media users and 4.8 billion internet users. Over 50% of the population is on the internet. Look at the social media use around the world. 4.5 billion social media users. What social, what, what, what social media has done is it opened your business up globally. We spend about two and a half hours a day on social media alone. And this is a very interesting, the average number of platforms used by a person is 6.7. So that means that pe more people have Instagram, WhatsApp, TikTok, uh, WhatsApp, all of those, the average is six apps, 6.7. Globally, the most used platform is Facebook with uh, 2.8 billion people so you, you must write that down in fact write that down 2.8 billion and see how much of people is on facebook youtube is not very far off 2.2 billion whatsapp got 2 billion, 2 billion users globally and instagram uh, is got 1.3 billion people but look at tiktok tiktok is catching up tiktok has got 1 billion people and guys tiktok right now tiktok is is a I think everybody needs to investigate TikTok and we are we're also going to discuss TikTok later in this program. In SA, this is last year's uh, stats, 
WhatsApp was the most used platform. Then shortly then behind it is Facebook, Instagram, and Facebook Messenger. The types of content people want on social media. This is what people are searching. For. This is what people want on social media. Films, funny videos and memes, how-to tutorials. Now, this is, is post-COVID content. Uh, repeats of popular shows like Friends, and uh, they also follow their favorite musicians as well as sports. So guys, if you can create content on your social media around these topics, your content will be a hit. So I'm starting my, my, my lesson for today. Today, we're going to do introduction to digital marketing. So what is digital marketing? Digital marketing is an umbrella term for all your online effort, marketing efforts. It includes social media marketing. It includes email marketing, your SMS, your chat, your WhatsApp, your Telegram. It uh, includes your website, domains, your email, your blogs, your email signature, influencer marketing and video advertising, all of that fall under digital marketing. So as I said, uh, digital marketing is an umbrella term for all your company's online marketing efforts. The benefit of digital marketing, you can reach the right people in the right place at the right time. Two, it's measurable. Digital marketing is measurable. So if you're running a campaign or you're running uh, some promotion, you can measure it. If it's not working, you can chop and change and you can uh, make amends as you go along. So that's what's good about digital marketing. So there's three main assets on digital marketing, owned, earned, and paid. So owned digital marketing assets is like your website. It's your business social media profiles, email marketing, online branding assets like your logos, your blog, online brochures, all of these collateral you own. Earned digital marketing assets are like your reviews, your, your media coverage, product services, uh, your ratings, your check-ins, your tags, all of that is earned. And then there's paid. Paid uh, digital marketing is like Facebook ads, uh, a paid uh, influencer, or uh, maybe pay per click, Google ads. Those are all paid. So the pros and cons of digital marketing. Owned, the advantage of owned assets is you are in full control. They're often low cost to create. You can drive website traffic and conversions, brings the right people to your website. The disadvantages, it can be time consuming. You don't see the results without a strategy. Earned, earned assets, the advantages, your audience will trust the words of others more than you. It's free, it boosts awareness and can drive referral traffic and conversions. The disadvantages, you can't control it. And it also takes time. So you can't really rely on it it, uh, sometimes it takes the time to it takes time for you to get reviews and recommendations. The advantages of paid visibility is guaranteed, appears in front of people quickly. So it's like a tap. As soon as you, you open the tap, you're going to get a lot of traffic, you're going to get a lot of uh, uh, leads, can be used to promote your own your own assets to a wider audience. The disadvantages can get expensive, like Google ads can become very pricey. It depends on which industry you're, on, you're in. Uh, Google ads can be very pricey. Uh, only works as long as you're throwing cash at it. So as soon as you close the tap, your leads dry up. Uh, you won't always reach the right people. So you have, to, you have to make sure that you optimize your audience to get the right reach, to reach the right people. So some tips we can give you to, uh, to optimize your digital marketing, be laser focused on your customers. Uh, so, so remember that your customers, prospects and partners are the lifeblood of your business. So make sure that you fo focus on them. Build your marketing framework. So think about growth frameworks. And we'll, we're gonna get into these 
in the next couple of days, we're going to discuss some strategy as well. We're going to discuss frameworks in detail in the next couple of days. Uh, develop your brand story. Brands that have a story, they, they, they can relate, the, the customers can relate to them and they, they can attract the right customer. Uh, so get the right, uh, get the right people you, uh, with the right traffic. So uh, whether you got a blog or whether you got, um, whether you're getting them from social media, get the plumbing right foundation of conversion optimization. So make sure that you've got conversions set up on your on your website. If you're sending them, if you're sending paid traffic to your website, we will we'll discuss this in detail. Build audience connections with content marketing. So these are like, uh, you can host webinars, you can uh, create videos and uh, write blog articles. Find customers with paid channel advertising. Now this is Google, this is uh, Facebook ads, Instagram ads as well. So the, the goal of digital marketing is to get your prospects email address and to build an email marketing database and to email them regularly. So make sure you're building your email marketing, your email database to keep in touch with your, with your prospects. You can also look at affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is also good where you can get uh, others to promote uh, your products for you as well and work on a commission basis. Get found SEO. So SEO stands for search engine optimization. Uh, I mean, if you're looking for a solution, what's the first thing you do? You go and you Google. So make sure that your, your site is optimized for Google. You can also, there's a lot of places you can get good free PR from. And uh, 12 is launch a social strategy. Social strategies, you need to have a good social media strategy because that's where everybody's hanging out nowadays. Since uh, the lockdown, uh, people are not, people are not uh, networking anymore in person. So they're networking online. And then uh, mobile, make sure that your, your website and your blogs are mobile optimized because over 90% of your traffic comes from mobile. That's the end of digital marketing, that's the intro. We, in the next couple of days, we're gonna go into detail with these topics. So failure is an opportunity to, this is a meme that I saw. Failure is an opportunity to grow. We must have a growth mindset. I can learn to do anything I want. Challenges help me to grow. So these are some of so these are some of the these are these are some of the uh, phrases I've seen that I thought would be good for us. The tip for today, the, the entrepreneur's wellness tip: Your mind is a magnet. If you think blessings, you attract blessings. If you think problems, you attract problems. Always cultivate cultivate good thoughts and always remain positive and optimistic. So. Watch yourself talk. Be careful and be aware of what you keep telling yourself. Be intentional with your thoughts. Stop hanging around negative people. Stop watching negative videos and listening to gangster rap. Garbage in, garbage out. What you feed your mind grows. Which wolf are you feeding? I remember when I started, you listen, I was working for a, I had a good paying job in Joburg and I was earning a good salary. And I left my job five years ago to come down to Durban and, uh, start my own business. And I remember I was so, I was so, I had imposter syndrome where I was so afraid, I had so much of fear and I had low self-esteem. And I remember I was listening, I used to listen to Les Brown, you have greatness in you. Every day I used to put that on repeat and I used to listen to that every single day. And that helped me to get out of that uh, pit that I was in. So it's very important what you listen to. Move their lives to, move their lives to another level. You have something special. You have greatness within you. That story that you have can impact. So that's Les Brown. Guys, listen to motivational uh, talks. It's going to help you. So now this is uh, number six, content ideas. Content ideas is the objective of this call. So it's January. January. What happens in January? Back to school, new beginnings. 
So a good site, you can bookmark the site, you can go to the and uh, bookmark it, you can search for it in Google, it's called derco.gov.za, it's a government site, and every they've got a calendar of everything that's happening in South Africa broken down by month. So this is, in January, it will tell you that it's New Year's Day, and on the 30th of Jan is World Leprosy Day. What's good about this page is that it also gives you a sneak peek into the upcoming months. So you can plan your content in advance, what to post for. So on the 2nd of February is World Wetlands Day, World Cancer Day, um, look at this. Uh, uh, 20, 21st Feb is International Tourist Guide Day. Uh, look at March, you can even take a sneak peek into March. On, in Feb, you also know Feb is also the month of love. It is uh, Valentine's Day as well. So you can plan your, your content in advance for your social media. Another good site is the teacherscorner.net. It will tell you everything that's happening on, on a specific day. So look at this, uh, on Saturday the 1st, New Year's Day, uh, it tells you who was born, people's birthdays. Look at this on the 6th, is Bean Day. Uh, look at this. Uh, on the 3rd is the Festival of Sleep Day. So you can create content for your platforms just to get an idea of what to post. Look at this, today is the 13th, today is the 14th, National Dress Up Your Pet Day. You can create something around that because let me tell you something, pets on social media is a winner. Uh, look at this, Re revolutionary war, what's war in it? Guys, try not to post negative and depressing stuff on social media, just keep it upbeat and positive and just post good, feel good stuff. Another good site to get content, daily content is history.com, this day in history. Uh, this, every single day they give you some, uh, some good stuff. Uh, look at this, uh, uh, sports in 1995, all female team competes in America's cup final. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, just keep it positive, don't post. There's, they will also post about murder and stuff like that, serial killers, killers, killers and stuff, but guys, just keep it positive. Another good site is Wikipedia. Wikipedia on the homepage has got Did You Know and This Day in History. So you can come in here and get some, inform some good posts. You can repurpose this. So how you're gonna use this content is you would uh, recreate, maybe create a meme in Canva or into Photoshop and uh, post it onto social media. So just to show you the power of facts, people love facts and Did You Know. Look at this uh, site. This site is, this is a page, this is a weird facts page. Uh, look how much of engagement they're getting. 10,000 emojis, likes and uh, emojis. Look at how many shares they've got. So um, this is the power of weird facts and, uh, and uh, did you know. Another good site to get content is Brainy Code. Uh, this day, they'll give you a quote for the day and they'll give you a whole lot of quotes that you can choose from. And what, what's good about quote of the day, brain quote is that you can just um, share this onto your social media. Just click, the, just click the, the platform and it will share it for you. You don't have to create anything. See, you can even share these, these quotes as well. If you want ideas, uh, guys, again, if I'm saying ideas because you come to Pinterest, don't steal the, the post, recreate the post, just borrow the ideas and recreate it. You can recreate these, po these posts easily using Canva or Photoshop. Another good idea for content is UGC. UGC stands for user generated content. Now, what that means is your users, your customers will submit their, um, them using your product or maybe a testimonial that is UGC. This is an example of UGC. This couple got engaged and they posted the engagement ring and uh, look at the amount of engagement they got. This is UGC, stands for user generated content. This is another example of UGC where the, uh, this bride submitted a picture of her wedding day with her dad, uh, sitting next to her dad, and it went, they used it online. This is a Starbucks UGC where consumers colored in the cup and submitted it to Starbucks. This is my own, uh, my own uh, UGC where I, went to the Lion Park and I took a picture and I sent it to uh, this company and they shared it for on their socials. This is a Vans Techies uh, UGC. Can you see Vans hopped on and said, can we, can we share it? Some tips I can give you is use humor. 
funny memes work well on social media. Stay away from controversial topics like religion, politics, racism, abortion, causes, and rights. Just remain neutral. Even on your own personal profiles, remain neutral. Guys, the goal of social media is to grow your following, to get more following, to, to increase your followers. If you want to lose followers, discuss these topics. Use the daily hashtag. The hashtag, uh, you can use the daily hashtag. These are the daily hashtags. Uh, so today is Friday. You can use, create a post and use these hashtags in, uh, in your post today. Uh, we're going to be we're going to be going into ha into hashtags in detail in the next couple of days. Uh, I'm going to explain to you what's a negative hashtag and uh, how to leverage them, how to leverage positive hashtags. Guys, that's the end of my lesson for today. And uh, you guys can unmute yourself and ask any questions. Anyone wants to say anything? Any questions about digital marketing, guys? You weren't clear about anything that I discussed? Sunil, I just wanted to ask you, it's Sandy, yeah? Hi, Sandy. Um, the HubSpot software, is that for free or do you have to purchase it? So HubSpot has a freemium model where some part of it is free, but if for you to for you to use more features, there is mm -hmm. a there is a premium uh, version out. Like I know oh, okay. I use the HubSpot CRM, which is free, so it's quite, it's, it's actually quite cool. And but most of the stuff that on on HubSpot, like the content and the articles, is free, but uh, the actual the actual CRM, is, some of it is free, but if you want more functionality you got to pay for it but uh, okay. it's definitely a bargain i mean if you're getting busy i would say to you it's a good investment okay thank you uh Seren, are you going to be uh, sharing with us at some stage to how um you know when you've planned your uh social media posts and what you're going to post how to do that in advance so that every day um you know something something comes on or do you physically do that yourself yeah so we're going to be doing facebook creator studio it's built into facebook and it allows you to to it allows you to schedule we're also going to be doing canva Thank you. canva I'm, I'm sure many of you have heard of canva already it's, a, it's an online graphic design tool if you're using the premium version of canva canva also allows you to schedule uh, listen, Canva is only twelve dollars a month. It works out to about hundred eighty rand, which is nothing. And you can get use it five. You can share it with five users, so it's actually quite uh, affordable. Anybody else wants to say anything? Anybody? Hi, Sunil. Hi, Tukazila. Um, I wanted to find out, there's a slide that you shared which showed the things that you can post around. So it had the funny videos, the how-to. But in our case where we are an accounting firm, how do we work around that when we need to post our content? Yes, yeah, so I've seen some accounting firms where they, where they were cleverly used humor in their, uh, in their uh, posts. Uh, you can uh, maybe create a meme or you know, uh, just try not to be too serious on social media. Remember why people come onto social media. People come onto social media to escape from reality. They come to they come to social media. They want to see cute kittens. They want to see memes. They want to they want to uh, be entertained. They want to be educated. They don't want to come to they, they don't they're not going to leave work to come to social media and see work. So. You got to be very creative when it comes to social media. I hope I answered your question. Right, thank you. I will find that uh, I will find that page, uh, that that accounting page, and uh, they they got some very very uh, very um, clever memes, and I'll share that with you guys. Another good site to check is the the Department of Basic Education. You must go to their Facebook page, and uh, you'll just laugh. Just see how they how they do they Facebook? Anybody else wants to say anything? Any questions? 
Uh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, the same question was, uh, how do you relate, get people to relate to, let's say, the financing area? So I'm going to, like you mentioned, say, look at how can you make it funny? How can you make it enjoyable? Because it's it's not always a fun topic to discuss people's uh, finances and then they see they lack. So just to get that into a funny mood, uh, that will be sort of a, a bit of a challenge, I think. Yeah, so I've seen how people have, like, they, 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 they've turned boo-boos, you know, you know, there's a lot of people who made boo-boos, and they made it, they turned into made it, and made it funny, like, um, they, uh, they took a bad situation, and they added some humor into it, like, you know, like, um, uh, checks, maybe, um, they maybe added, like, a, like, a funny character in there, or something, like, maybe, like, a monkey, or something like that. So you just got to be very careful when it comes to your how you're doing it. Okay. And then also, um, <clears throat> there's a lot of industry jargon that people use. And I find that when you start using the, the industry jargon, people get lost and they don't really listen. So would you recommend just staying away from that and just keeping it easy? Yeah, listen, you got, when you're creating content for social media, imagine that you are, your, your, your listener or your follower is eight years old. So imagine you're talking to an eight-year-old, and that's how your, your content must be created. Create content for an eight-year-old on social media. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Sara, you want to go? Guys, thank you. Um, I was wondering, how do I... Or where do I go to create funny content for the law firm? So, uh, are you are you using Canva already? Are you using Canva? Have you seen Canva? I have access. I have the free, uh, the free access to Canva. Um, it's just start. Uh, I've, we've just started the law firm, so um, new to social marketing. But yeah. Um, yeah. So, so what I would do is, so what I do is, I would go onto Pinterest and I would search. I would, go on, I would go on to this on, on certain sites and I would search for memes and stuff that are you know, law related. And then I would just recreate them or borrow them. Or maybe find a funny case, a funny legal case and uh, talk about that. Oh, um, Sunil, maybe I can jump in as well. So I've also been trying to use funny memes with regards to workplace, but I didn't, I didn't really focus on my niche specifically. So I just use general workplace memes that are funny for everybody. So I think it's maybe a bit more relatable. I think um, the finance things, if I'm coming from a user perspective, I would love to see like tips from you guys, like, or even if you demystify the jargon, like those jargon words in finance, that could be something. In law, it could also be, you know, demystifying words that we hear about or how it applies to, if, like, even our businesses. Maybe that's something you can do, I guess. No, that's really that's just a suggestion. That's very good. Um, thanks, Tessa. That's a good example. Any more questions, uh, Zara? Anything else I can answer? Um, no, yes. That's it for now. Thank you. Cool. Guys, got any more questions? Uh, what I'll do is uh, the questions that you guys asked me, I will also uh, investigate. And over the next couple of days, I will give you guys better examples. I will give you actual examples how you can improve your social media for finance, how you can improve your social media for uh, the legal industry. So next couple of days, we'll do that. Um, and Cindy, also the, um, how do you post videos uh, or where do you get those videos from? You know, there's all these funny clips. Um, are they also from Canva or where can you get things like that? Yeah, guys, listen, I am using Photoshop for the past 20 years and I can tell you Canva is a godsend because you can do so much with Canva. Once you use Canva, what's good about Canva is it's got built-in templates. You don't have to go and recreate the wheel and start from scratch. Everything is done for you in Canva. You just chop and change it and maybe just change a quote here and there. 
and uh, you can add so sound, you can add, there's so much you can do with Canva just for $12 a month. Uh, you can recreate, you see when it comes to those videos on the web, some of them are copyrighted, some of them hold, uh, you know, some of them uh, carry copyright. So I won't advise you to share freely. You sometimes it's good to cre recreate your own content. Anyone else wants to say anything? Anybody wants to introduce themselves? Tell us who you are, where you're from, what you do? Uh, it's new. Maybe <clears throat> one tip uh, on YouTube, I know there's a function. If you search whatever video and on the filter side, you can look for creative comments. Uh, that's videos that, that people share and you are allowed to use them freely. Um, what I see people usually do is take the video and then put text over that or the video in the middle and text above or below. So that's... No, that's a good tip. Creative comments. comments. Creative yeah. comments. Thanks, Holt. Yeah. Not and what I'll do is I'll, I'll introduce myself. I'm Halp Feldman. I'm uh, living in Pretoria and I work for a company called GeoNet Consulting and we help people with the long-term insurance looking at the life risks that we don't always plan for and then do a needs analysis, a financial needs analysis and we help you to focus on that. Thank you, thank you. Guys, remember this platform is called Social Breakfast. It's all about networking, connect with each other, uh, make friends. Uh, you don't know who you don't know who can connect you with your next million dollar client. So connect, do business, and uh, yeah. Who else wants to introduce himself? Who wants to go next? Don't miss opportunity, guys. Let me call out uh, Cheryl. Cheryl Aaron, do you want to say something? Why are you shy? Hi, sorry. I was just trying to unmute myself. Um, I'm Cheryl Aaron and I'm from Johannesburg. Um, we've just launching our uh, training academy. Um, so the website is being developed and I'm sure the content and um, the 30 day challenge, we're looking forward to it. I have my 16 year old daughter sitting next to me. So um, she's very creative and I'm gonna use her uh, expertise in setting up uh, our business over the next 30 days. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Cheryl. Love it. Really love appreciate it. your assistance. Thank you. No, it's a pleasure. No, I love it. I love it. Um, when uh, the younger generation are on, on digital, coming on digital. Anybody else want to say anything? Zara, you want to introduce yourself? Introduce your company? Um, not today. I'll take up the opportunity on Monday because. Uh, would love my sister to come alongside um yeah i'm assisting her at the moment i've put in the details in sorry in the chat uh bhavani taka of taka attorneys and yeah based in joburg in pretoria um and i think the catch line would be is fighting for the underdog people who can't afford um legal aid and who at the same time don't want to go the corporate legal firm um, route. Cool, good stuff. Thanks, thank Sarah. you. Thank you, thank you for coming. Uh, Tess, you want to say something? You want to introduce yourself? Tell us what you do. Sorry, struggling to unmute. Hi, my name is Tessa. Um, I'm actually based in Australia, but I know Sunil for many years. We worked together. Um, in marketing. And so um, I always follow his courses because he's got so much to share and he's very generous with his time. But I'm a, um, a psychosocial coach, which is working with people with mental health or um, actually every, everyday people who want to improve their lives or their careers. I get them on the path to help them achieve their goals. So if anyone needs um, any assistance or just wants to talk through things, I'm here to assist. Thank you. Thanks, Jess. Guys, uh, take up the offer, the opportunity. Uh, don't uh, don't miss out. Um, 
Anybody else wants to say something? Hashila? Just want to say thank you. Um, yeah, loving the course, learning every time, and uh, insights again today. We have to get going. Thank you. Thanks, Ashila. Uh, thanks, Chris. Chris, you want to say something? Chris, you want to introduce yourself? Chris Mudley? Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Anil. Chris Mudley. And I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> trying to get organized. Um, now, um, I, uh, I'm a consultant, uh, just CETA accredited. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm a uh, coach, leadership coach. I do a lot of training in that area there. I do a lot of consulting to a set number of clients, but my aim is to expand my reach right now. I think I'm a little bit on the comfortable side and I need a little bit of a kick uh, from you, Sunil. Um, <laughs> from the point of, I need to expand my base now. So yeah, and uh, that's where I'm, I'm, I'm at right now. So I appreciate the session, it's pushing me and I appreciate that, thanks, yeah. Thanks, Chris. So, um... Today was just an overview of digital marketing. We'll be, we'll be going to be, we will be getting into detail on with those platforms that we discussed today that I gave you an overview about. So thanks, Chris. Uh, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow at eight o'clock. We're just going to have a quick call tomorrow. Tomorrow is just an accountability call. So, um, you know, um, I learned this. If you, when, you, when, you, when, you want to, when you want to start a new habit, you know, people in the beginning of the year, they say they want to start, they go to the gym. They want to go to the gym. And then what happens is you go five days to the gym and on the weekends, you don't go to the gym. So what happens is you break your momentum. You've got to do something consecutive. That is why I have got this, I got this 30 days consecutive because once you break that cycle, you've got to start again. So that is why it's nonstop. So the weekends is 10 minutes, Saturday and Sunday. And um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow, Saturday at 8 a.m. Bye guys. Thanks, Anil. Cheers. Have a good one, guys. Thanks. Bye, all. Bye, guys. Bye.